Hi there folks, uh, welcome to the wild, wonderful and very wet west coast of Tasmania. Should be called Tasrania in all reality because in this part of the world they get a lot of rain. So uh, I'm at the moment at the, uh, the, the famous red lead mine. It's a mine that was uh, opened up at the turn of the century or the last century the 19th century, 20th century and uh, they mined a, a very famous mineral here called crocolite a beautiful bright orange lustrous mineral it's a lead chromate and uh, this part of the world, uh, the Dundas region the Zeehan region of the northwest coast of Tasmania is uh, probably the most famous and prolific producer of this mineral uh, it was originally mined actually it's a flux. They used to use it for the metallurgical processing of the lead and silver minerals they used to mine in this district. So yeah, crocodile itself wasn't really an ore mineral, even though it is a lead chromate, but it was actually used as a, a flux. So uh, I said at the moment I'm standing kind of knee deep in mud and sludge on the edge of uh, Mount Dundas, and uh, yeah. This is the upper workings of the, the red lead mine. So around behind me here you can see some highly mineralised ground that's in place. This is sort of an iron manganese quartzy kind of gossen, highly mineralised and uh, in one little section of it here there are some quite chunky crocodile crystals forming. I don't know if you can see that on camera but some orange crystalline looking material coming out of the wall here and then down a bit further a big patch of orange and that's a uh, that's crocite for you in situ uh, decomposed vein of it through here quite nice and then down below some specimens I managed to hack out of here I don't know where that's coming up but there's a crystallized pocket of crocite needles there uh, very sought after by mineral collectors and uh, as I said, this is uh, probably the most prolific and def def definitely the best occurrence of this mineral on the planet. I think you do get this stuff in Russia. There's a small uh, locality of crocite in West Australia on the gold fields, but they pale into in insignificance compared to the material we get out of here. And you get uh, multiple inch long crystals, big radiating groups like porcupines, uh, it is actually a, a very spectacular mineral. This stuff I'm picking up here is rubbish really, but it gives you an idea of, of what it looks like in the material. And uh, hopefully later on today I will actually get underground in this mine. They're actually extending it at the moment, underground below us, trying to retrace these veins at the surface to get into a more solid material. I was down there a couple of days ago and there is actually some very nice material coming out of the face underground. So yeah, hopefully in another little episode, I'll be underground. So for the moment, that's what it looks like on the surface. Wet and muddy.